Good evening. Ah! I missed it. Anyway, I'm putting on sunglasses. No, this is a rare occurrence for me. You'll never really see me wearing sunglasses for a functional purpose. I really like the fashion and I think you look really cool. I really like the fashion. I hate them usually. I feel like they're dulling the world. I'm like, why would you ever want to dull the world? However, yesterday I got an eye test and they put these eye drops in that dilated my pupils and now I'm so sensitive to the sun. I just feel like sunglasses are kind of impersonal. Like I can't make eye contact with you guys. It was just weird. Anyway, carrying on. Um, where have I been? Let's not talk about it actually. I actually did try to make a few vlogs. Like I vlogged Paddy's day. I went home to Ireland, like I vlogged the full thing. Like I even vlogged, I went to New York, vlogged it. I was just drunk. And I hate myself drunk. Like I am insufferable. I hate my voice. I put on like, I feel like I put on like an English accent when I'm drunk and it's just a whole thing that no one needs to see. But we're back because I have, I think this is to date the most exciting video that I will ever film. Okay. For me anyway, maybe not for you. Maybe this is like the most boring video ever and you're like click off like not interested And if so, I completely get it click off but like this is just like me. I'm fulfilling my child I'm what's that called healing your inner child. There was nothing wrong with my inner child It wasn't unhealed or damaged that needs to be healed But like you know, it's, I don't let me explain basically since I was 10 years old I've wanted to be a pilot my dad's friend I met him for the first time and he was a pilot and he was basically talking to me about how he's like yeah I work three days a week and um, they just fly I just fly to the Bahamas like they put me up in a nice hotel I stay there for two days and then I fly home and that's pretty much all I do because you're not allowed to like overwork as a pilot because if they get tired and they're, when they're overworking then they'll crash and kill everyone and then it's bad on the airline and um, so he was basically telling me he gets a three-day work week and gorgeous holidays in the sun and I was like, okay, that's, that is what I'm gonna do. That is my calling in life. I'm gonna be a pilot. I'm a lazy person by nature. I always have been. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I cope, I'm a functioning lazy person. But uh, that just sounded right up my alley. So I went after that, I went for my first flight lesson when I was like 12. So I flew a little plane um, and I loved it. So fun. It's like driving, but you're in the sky. There's no traffic. You can do fucking tricks. You can, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want up there. I mean, obviously there are limitations to what you can do, but it's just so fun. It's like a video game IRL. I, oh, I hate, I said like in one of my mouth, I was like, Oop. I hate when you say, like, I should have just said in real life. I shouldn't have said IRL. What, what, what are, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, sometimes they say CBA in real life and I, oh, Olivia, you need to, you need to nip that in the bud. Anyway, carrying on from the story. So yeah, my whole life wanted to be a pilot. Since my first lesson, then I would always get lessons as like my birthday presents and stuff, because they're kind of expensive. I never applied to uni because I was just going to go to flight school. I, I did my work experience with pilots. I, I did the whole shebang. Um, I did maths and physics A level because I wanted to get a scholarship because my parents were not prepared to spend 120K on pilot school. That's how much it is. So I was going to try and get a scholarship. Um, anyway, last year school rolls around. I actually I just started YouTube at this point and it was kind of kicking off. I was popping off. That was my peak. No, I'm not gonna say that. My peak is yet to come. Last year's school rolls around, COVID hits. All the pilots lose their jobs. It's really not a lucrative business to be getting into. Um, YouTube was picking up and I was like, fuck it, I've got a choice here. Go into a business that is literally like like crumbling. And at that point we didn't know that it was ever gonna recover again. I feel like it's fully recovered now, the whole like flying situation. Um, like people going on holidays and stuff. Or I could do YouTube and be a fucking influencer. So, easy option, I moved to London and I became an influencer. <laughs> but there was a part of me that was just like, oh, like, that was my whole plan my whole life and I just like abandoned it. So I had always kind of said, right, you know what? I'm gonna get my p private pilot license someday. It's a lot of work, it's not a lot of work. Well, yeah, it is a lot of work. You have to do 50 hours of flying and you have to do lots of ground exams. But there's no airfield really near me. Like the closest one is like an hour and a half to two hours away. So that's driving two hours there and doing an hour of a flight lesson and driving two hours back that is five hours out of your day 50 times to get 50 hours so that you can get your private pilot's license also by the private pilot's license completely fucking useless i'm never going to use it like i don't have a plane if anyone has a four-seater plane that they need flown come to me because i'll be able to fly it but otherwise it's, it is completely pointless it's just like a passion project and then i heard about this thing about like a crash course where you can do all like like as much as many hours as you can in one week and you just go live by the airfield so I was like, fuck it, I'm doing it. And I booked it. And I'm going to an airfield and I've got a little Airbnb. It's really cute. It's in like the back of someone's garden. <laughs> and I'm just doing a crash course at this airfield. And I'm gonna get try get like as many hours as I can done. I'm gonna try fly solo while I'm there as well. I'm doing my ground exams. I've been revising. It's a whole thing. But yeah, that's where we're going. Woo! 
So I'm on my way driving from London to the Cotswolds, like in the countryside. That's where I'm doing it. Okay, I need to stop at the services pretty soon because my car needs charged. I'm really excited because the service is on the way here. It's called Beaconsfield Services, and I fucking love Beaconsfield Services. I love a service station. There's nothing better. I mean, in Ireland, we have ones here and there. We've, we've been getting more recently, but they're kind of shit. Then you come to England and you see these service stations. They got everything in there. They got a Pizza Express, an M&S, KFC. They've got fucking everything you could ever need in the service station. They've got hotels. but like charging an electric car is literally like fucking rocket science they make it the most complicated thing ever as i was charging my car another car of the same make pulled up beside me and the guy gets out it's a normal man he's like looks at my car and he goes interesting color his car was light blue like baby blue like he's obviously like that's not a normal color and my car's black why is that an interesting color i literally was like what and he just laughed and walked away the fuck like guys i wasn't lying they have a pizza express it's crazy in here we have Anandos. M&S haul. I didn't really go crazy. It's a bit of an awkward time. It's like half nine in the morning. So I wasn't going to go get like a full Nando's. I would have loved to. If it was like 1 p.m. or something, I would have loved to get a full Nando's and do a Nando's mukbang with you. But it's a bit early. I don't even know if Nando's is open. Olives. Blueberries. I got pineapple chunks. I got some mints because... I'm gonna be in a plane with this guy and I don't wanna have stinking breath and I don't like chewing gum. I really I've realized I'm a mint person, I don't like chewing gum, it makes my tummy hurt. So I go for um mints instead. Makeup wipes and a small deodorant because I don't know how warm it's gonna be up there and I don't wanna be sweating and stinking up the plane, so I've got a small deodorant for my bag. And that's my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Kinda boring. Let's get back on the road. I didn't mean to end this life, I know it was the right idea. This is my plan for today. It says warrior on the side such a nice day <laughs> okay i just got to my airbnb i just finished my <gasps> you're fucking joking you're coming right inside you're my cat for the week hi hi it's in someone's garden so i don't want to like show too much but this is what it is it's so much nicer than I expected. Um, you come in. So we have a lovely little um, dining table, which I probably won't sit at once, but it's nice to know that it's there. Um, this is the living area. Look at a little disco ball. Look at a little party in here. Oh my God, little mini disco balls. You've got the kitchen area. Go, oh, you know, I love this. Sometimes, you you know when you go to an Airbnb and they don't have any seasonings? Obviously, you don't fucking bring your own seasonings, but this is great. They've got all the seasonings I need. A little bathroom in here. Guys, I could fucking, I could live in here. And then this is the, the really fun part. My bed is up some ladders. Whenever I booked this Airbnb, the girl messaged me and was like, just so you know, like, there's ladders to get to the bed. Like, are you able to climb ladders? And I was like, I, I think so. I can't remember the last time I climbed a ladder was. This is so fucking cute. I didn't really vlog much at like the airfield because I was learning like a lot of like emergency procedures. And he would put the plane off center and I had to like center it again, stuff like that. But also like I really had to concentrate and I wasn't able to fucking get my vlog camera on and be like, hey. My flight instructor is so cute. So it's just me and him for the full week. His name is Dave and he's just great. He's a competitive skydiver. And I was like, please, Dave, teach me how to skydive. I want to skydive so fucking badly, but I don't want to do it on my own, and no one I know wants to do it with me. So if anyone wants to go skydiving with me, please let me know. Hi, Bob. What's your name? Oh, it's a beautiful name. Hi, my love. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Do you not want to be cuddled? You make me happy. Okay. Wait, I didn't even realize there's a fucking back garden of this place. What we got out here? Oh, this is just so cute. It be, like, I love being alone and I love being single and all that shit. Hi, do you want to go outside? Um, But it would be really cute to come here with your boyfriend. <sighs> but it's even cuter to come here on your own. So, they're Soho Farmhouse. It's like a Soho House hotel thing. It's two minutes away from here. So I think I'm going to go to the gym. I recently have been sleeping at all. I've been had really bad insomnia. I think it's because like, I haven't been working out. So I'm gonna go try expand some energy at the gym. Let's go. That 
that was so fun i listened to the kendrick diss tracks and i i had to make up situations in my head to think about while i'm running on the treadmill because it's so boring i've really like fallen in love for running on the treadmill recently it just like makes me feel amazing after i was listening to kendrick's diss tracks and i was imagining that i was kendrick and I, i'm training for a boxing match that i now have against drake and it made me run really far and like fast i was just i was angry at me I really got into character. Now we're gonna go to co-op and get some supplies for my Airbnb because I need like, actually I don't have anything. I need to get some stuff. I don't think they've got delivery around here. Maybe they have like dominoes and stuff. So I'll treat myself to dominoes one of the nights. But um, apart from that, I'm probably gonna have to cook. I could come here to the Soho Farmhouse and go to the restaurant. But the thought, like as much as I'm like being like, I'm so happy and I love being away. I'm so comfortable with myself. I'm not comfortable with myself enough to sit at a restaurant at night and have dinner on my own. Okay, for dinner tonight, I'm having this like it soup, basically pot noodle, but I'm making this vegan chicken. I just felt like then if I add something, I'm technically not having a pot noodle, like I have cooked something. Sometimes I add like vegetables as well, but right now I just cannot be bothered. Um, I actually really like this chicken as well. It's really yummy. Okay, taste test time. <laughs> it's my gourmet dinner. Oh, it's definitely food. And I'm currently about to start washing my face in the kitchen sink because there's been a spider in the bathroom now for, I would say, three days. I, I'm just confused. Okay, look at it. It's actually bigger than it looks on camera. You have to believe me. But it's literally not moved. It's been in the same position for three days. Is it dead? Or is it just sleeping? Like, but I feel like if it was dead, it'd be on the floor, like curled up in a ball or something. So I'm just confused. I haven't been vlogging every single day because I've literally been doing the same thing every day. I mean, obviously I've been doing different flying things, but I can't video that because I'm flying. But today is Friday um, it's the weekend. And tonight I'm actually doing something a bit different. I'm getting a massage. <laughs> so I thought I'd vlog today. It's not a fashion show, you know, I'm just going flying, but I'm wearing this brownie my apple t-shirt, which I'm not pleased about. I don't like, I guess maybe I'm like quite a sweaty person or I feel like kind of anyone just when you wear t-shirts that are this tight to your armpit I don't like that like you can feel the sweat through it um and it's literally 22 degrees so and then these trousers are also from Brownie Melville these boots are like I've literally been living in them and I'm gonna wear them all summer they're from Coach and they're the best boots ever I wore them to Coachella I wore them the whole time I was in LA and now I'm wearing them flying and I love them Okay, I'm on my way to the airfield. Progress wise, we're pretty much like fully through the whole curriculum. Um, taking off on my own, flying on my own, doing all the maneuvers. Did my first landing yesterday. Landing is definitely the scariest part of flying because you're literally falling towards the ground in a like fucking vehicle, you know? It's just, it's scary. And there's a lot of things to remember and you need to get to the approach right. It's like, you can't fall short. You can't go too fast, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I did my first one yesterday and we're just gonna practice them loads and loads and loads today. And then once I do that, I'll be like ready to fly solo. The only problem it is, is to fly solo, you need a medical. I'm currently having like a little bit of trouble with my medical because there's a little, like there's some regulations around having ADHD and being allowed to fly. Because ADHD, like some people have like really impulsive tendencies. They get scared that you're gonna like jump out the plane or something. I don't know, it's actually really stupid. Um, they need me to go under like a psychological analysis to make sure that I am 
um, capable of flying a plane without doing something crazy. Guys don't, it's so annoying. But it's the rules and I'm gonna abide by the rules. So we're just gonna get as much as we can done this week. I need 30 hours to get my license and I think we're at about 11. So we're not gonna get the full 30 done this week. I'm gonna come back for another week and then after that we'll probably be done. Um, but kind of the aim of this week was to be able to fly solo. And obviously I can't technically be in the plane on my own because I don't have the medical, but my flight instructor was like, what we can do is like, I will just like, I'll obviously be in the plane with you, but I'll not take control. I'll not, I'll not hold the control. I'll literally not do anything. I'll sit there and you can fly completely on your own. I was like, right, that's good enough. That's good enough. Yesterday we did stalling, which was something I was really scared for, but it's actually not as scary. I just think like, remember when you learn how to drive, if you know how to drive, um, like I hated stalling. Stalling was my worst, I, it was, oh, I hated it. And then I was like thinking, oh my God, stalling in the fucking air, like 5,000 feet above ground is not fun, but it actually wasn't that bad. Anyway, something I've been loving recently, which I feel like as a nation, we kind of don't appreciate enough is Honestly Nevermind by Drake. As summer approaches, I think this is the only album we should be listening to. Okay, so I actually got some content today in the plane. I'm going to take you along with me to fly. We're doing circuits today. It's basically where you just take off, do a quick little loop around the airfield and land. We literally did about like 20 that day, maybe more actually, maybe like 30. And it's literally just to practice take off and landing. So here is me and Dave. I'm taking off. Dave told me I had excellent rudder control, which you use to steer on the ground. You can see I'm all chuffed. He's my ultimate hype man. Uh, anyway, here we are coming in for our first landing. Obviously, landings were pretty new to me at this point. I was still getting used to them. And I'm not going to lie, guys, this was fucking awful. Like, I literally nearly broke the plane. Did you see that? It was like, uh, it was just not good. Anyway, we're going round again. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, this one wasn't as bad. Like, it's you can see by my face, it just wasn't ideal. Don't know what we're chatting about here. Oh, but he's making me giggle. I'm having a laugh. Oh, look at us. We just have so much fun, don't we? This one was good. Look, Dave was happy with me this time, but I wasn't fully happy. So I took off again. We're going again. My concentration faces are crazy. And I didn't realize until I watched these, this footage back, like what I look like when I'm flying. This one was amazing. Guys, did you see that? Smooth like fucking butter. Honestly, like I have been in commercial planes, like an EasyJet flight or whatever, and they are so much worse than that. So technically I am a professional pilot now. We're taking off again. We literally don't even stop. Like we just like land and just like use the speed to to take off again anyway the faces are insane okay guys i didn't actually film any footage of me flying today so the footage that you just saw is from tomorrow my flight instructor dave i told him that i wanted to vlog in the plane like i wanted to get some content for you guys and he was like oh i've got a gopro that i can like strap onto the plane and we can get some like real cool footage without it being like unsafe i was like fucking right dave let's get her going so that's what that's that's what you just saw Anyway, now we are at Soho Farmhouse. Um, I'm gonna go to the gym quickly. I've not got that long, but I just know that after my massage, I'm not gonna wanna go to the gym. Like, I'll be all relaxed. I just wanna go home and watch a movie or something. So, I'm gonna go to the gym quickly and then we'll have our massage. Whoa! Isn't this toilet so weird? Like, what? <laughs> okay, I just got to the spa and they gave me a robe to get changed into so i'm just gonna get in the shower and rinse off because oh by the way i did not do much in the gym i walked and ran for 20 minutes on the treadmill i'm so excited for this massage because the seats in the airplane i mean my airplane my airplane the airplane that i'm training in was built in the 1970s i mean it's obviously been done up a little bit since then um but the seats are not comfortable as such they're fine but it's been giving me a sore back so i'm gonna get, tell her to just fucking <clears throat> in there okay the last thing i need to do before i go out to get my massage is pick a podcast i realize that i go insane when i get a massage in my head like i just make up every scenario like i need stimulation of some sort i tried listening to a podcast the last time i had a massage and it was a whole different experience like, i literally used to not like massages like of course i liked how it felt but i didn't like how it made me think but this is like a game changer with a podcast in my ears it's amazing um so yeah gonna go pick a podcast guys that was the best massage i have ever had i don't know 
what superpowers that woman holds but her hands were magic wow i love that i loved it so much to the point i came out and was like guys i need you to fit me in tomorrow and they were like oh well luckily we have got a space I was like, thank you so much i'm going back again tomorrow because that was a fucking that was a movie i think her name was jess jess from so formal house spa if you're listening to this i am in love with you but when i finished she was like like can i ask like what, what were you listening to and i had to be like oh um a podcast about a young girl who went on a tinder date and got murdered and stuffed into a suitcase is it really twisted no honestly like this was like a bag no oh, i didn't tell you what podcast i was listening to i always listen to eleanor neal's usual disclaimer it's like a true crime podcast i watch her youtube videos as well yeah she was covering a really grim case in this it's just like what I like. It's just what I like. It's what I like to wind on. Everyone likes everything. I don't like it. Like it's not nice. I'm not in. Oh, I'm not. I was like, I'm not enjoying listening to this like murder story. But I must be in a way. I'm just. It's just interesting. Oh, actually, I'm gonna worry. <laughs> anyway, um, that is what I listened to to wind on. Yeah, and I had to tell her. <laughs> she was like, okay, okay, stir fry. Not me literally like holding my phone with flashes if this is like some culinary masterpiece, but this looks good. <laughs> okay, my activity for tonight, you might think, oh, Olivia, you're editing your YouTube video to post. No, um, I'm not. My flight instructor, the man who was teaching me how to fly, his name is Dave, he's great. He has been so amazing and he's been so nice and so kind and so helpful and so patient with me. And I just think he's the best. Anyway, he has a GoPro and he filmed himself flying and he doesn't really know how to edit it so I said let me cook up a storm for you Dave and I took his memory card home and this is what I'm doing right now I also like know this song that he likes because we were having lunch in the like clubhouse the other day in the common room and they always have this music on like really really quietly it must just be like a radio somewhere and a song came on and he was like oh my god this song when it comes on it just brings me back to a time in my life like it's amazing and it was a Jerry Rafferty song I took note of it it's called Baker Street um so i'm gonna try put baker street behind it <laughs> literally me doing anything except the stuff that i'm like actually like have to do right now <laughs> i'm gonna play the music on really low but i feel like i kind of this. and then for the drop look he takes off it's a proper top gun isn't it this is what i've been doing <laughs> Last day! Hey guys, come along with me to do my checks on my airplane before I fly. My airplane is not my airplane. Hi! This is us. Golf Bravo Tango uniform whiskey. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get in here. We are going to deploy all the flaps. We're gonna put on the master switch, put on the landing light, the strobe light, pitot heat, and the navigation lights. Now if we just go around to make sure they're all on. That is on. On. We check the pitot heater is hot. Yep, there's definitely some heat on that. On. That one up there is flashing on. All the lights are working, so we're gonna turn them off and master switch off. Checking the fuel. Yep, it's a good level. We want to test the fuel and just make sure it's all good and there's no water or anything in it. We've got clean fuel. This is where we test it while we're under here as well. We just want to check the wheels, make sure the brake pads are all good. Yep. That looks pretty clean to me. Pop that back in the fuel tank. I think we've got another one under here. We do. It's really hard to get to. Oof. She's looking good. Back in the fuel tank she goes. Next, we've got our oil. This is where the oil is. Just want to make sure it's at a good level. Let's take a, ooh, what the fuck? 
take this out yeah that's a good level of oil put it back in boop, 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 boop. okay my checks are done this is my booster seat so i can see out i'm not even sure but i just like for some reason can't see over this okay now it's time for my internal checks and take off but i can't take you along with me for that because you're not allowed to film while flying obviously um, so I'm currently driving home. I finished flying. I only did one session today. We've been doing two sessions a day usually, but I, I'm not doing the afternoon one today because I have a dinner tonight. I've got a Gucci dinner tonight. I need to get back for it. I don't want to be super rushed. I think we got done about 16 hours, 17 hours. In total, I need 30 hours to get my license. I'm gonna have to do this whole week over again, but that's not a problem. I'm literally like, I cannot wait to book in for my other week. I'm gonna try to do it as soon as possible just so that I don't have skill fade or i don't like forget how to fly a plane in the meantime like if i leave it too long i think i might be a bit rusty i just need to sort out my medical first because in order to do your first solo flight like just me in the plane i have been flying on my own like he's not touching um my instructor dave isn't in, um touching the controls he's just there because legally he has to be because i don't have my medical yet because of this adhd thing so i'm a little bit concerned because my sister was staying at my house while i was gone she was looking after my cats you really can't see me, can you? Sorry. Anyway, yesterday I texted her being like, by the way, I'm not doing my afternoon session anymore, so I'll be home early. Maybe I'll catch you before you go to the airport. Then I was asking her to do a couple of things for me, like put the sheets in the wash, and she hasn't opened or answered any of my Snapchats. And I thought, how fucking weird. Anyway, so it's like 12 o'clock now, and I'm ringing her to be like, hi, I'm on my way home. Like, you've got my keys. Like, I just need to make sure everything's okay. She's not answering the phone. She hasn't replied to any of my Snapchats since last night, which is not like her, by the way, Snapchat. What am I, a fucking 16 year old boy, apparently? And she's not answering my phone. So in my head, she ha is like literally lying in a ditch somewhere dead, which is like obviously an awful thought to have, but I'm just telling you, I'm just being honest, that is my thought. As you guys know, I watch a lot of true crime and listen to a lot of true crime podcasts, so obviously my mind's gonna go to the worst place, and I'm just trying to get in contact with anyone right now um, that might know her whereabouts. So, I mean, she's fine, she's with her boyfriend, so like everything's gonna be okay, but I'm just worried about her, and I also need someone to be in my house to let me in whenever I get there. So I'll keep you updated on that, guys. Bye. I don't know if you guys can see, but when I listen to Stevie Nicks, I cry. What the fuck? I don't usually have this like visceral reaction to a song. <laughs> you know what it is as well? Like my mum is obsessed with Stevie Nicks. So maybe it's like in my jeans to be obsessed with her. Why am I crying? What the fuck is happening? Sorry, maybe like I was gonna say maybe I'm coming on my period, but I don't get my period, so I don't know what it is. I don't get my period because I'm on the pill that makes you skip the period, which is the best thing that's ever fucking happened to me. Everyone's always like, oh no, like um, you should be natural. Like, I have so many friends who are like, don't go on hormones, it's so bad for you. Like, you don't know what you're pumping in your body, you don't know how that's gonna affect you in the long term. I'm like, bitch, have a day in my period and then come back to me. Oh, she's alive. Oh, she's <laughs> I'm about to head off to the Gucci dinner, but I just wanted to come on and end the video quickly. Thanks so much for watching. Do you guys want to see my outfit for the Gucci dinner? I feel so like sophisticated. I've literally been living in the exact same outfit, like a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt for so long. So this feels like quite the switch up, but thanks so much for watching and I don't think I'll make a full other video when I go back to get my license like in the next week I do, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, I gotta go. Love you. Bye.